When the noon prayer ended, the fight for Egypt's future began again. This was Tawheed Mosque in Cairo. They chanted, we don't care about life, we sacrifice ourselves for religion. They set off for Ramsey Square, less than a mile away. The Muslim Brotherhood's plan was for 25 demonstrations to converge on the square. Some of them were spoiling for a fight, demanding the death of General Sisi, the armed forces chief who ordered the removal and imprisonment of the elected president, Mohamed Morsi. Once the armed forces were seen as the protect, they still are by many Egyptians, but not by these men, not anymore. Elsewhere in Cairo, armed men in the demonstrations heading for Ramses Square opened fire. For around an hour, the protest in the square was angry but peaceful. Then, rocks were thrown at a police station nearby. The Interior Ministry had warned that live fire would be used if the security forces were attacked. It all escalated quickly. First tear gas, then automatic weapons from the police station. I didn't see demonstrators with guns, but the official media here say many in the crowd were armed. The hiss like angry, deadly incidents from bullets coming very close. In the last couple of minutes there was fire into the wall just above where we were. Several hundred people in the crowd have retreated. All this is a sign of the danger on the streets in Cairo about the divided nature of society and the absolutely combustible mixture of people who oppose the military coup, people who support the Muslim Brotherhood, versus the heavily armed security forces. Further down the same Where road, other people were trying to get out of the line of fire. Some jumped. In Ramsey Square itself, they pulled out steel fences to use as barricades. They were raging. You can't use the Islamic. Islamic in the right way, as we made, as Mohammed Morsi made. It wasn't just happening in Cairo. This was Alexandria on the Mediterranean coast. Clashes and deaths have been reported from across the country. In Cairo, the wounded, dying, and dead were ferried out of Ramsey. More and more of them. Many were taken back to Tawheed Mosque, where some had prayed before the protest. The casualties were treated, and they kept coming in. The euphoria that followed the removal of the old dictatorship in the revolution in 2011 seems like a long time ago now. Supporters of the army's actions, and there are many in Egypt, won't have much sympathy for the casualties. This procession, they've been carrying bodies up these stairs now for most of the time that we've been here. Down below me is the main floor of the mosque, and that's the place where the casualties are coming in. There's another body coming up the stairs right now. Clashes broke out in different places in Cairo throughout the afternoon. The army and its supporters say they are saving the state from armed Islamists. The army's opponents also include secular people who are disgusted by the violence and the military coup. They fear Egypt's old security state is coming back. Egyptians need peace, politics, not guns. But positions are getting more entrenched. Tonight this fire near Ramses Square is spreading to a blood bank in the Red Crescent building next door. And Egyptians are fighting out their arguments in the street.